सो नाउ डी स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू पॉइंट टू फाइव एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन टू यू ऑप्टेन द इक्वीवेंट कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ द नेटवर्क एस शोन इन फिगर फॉर अ थ्री हंड्रेड वोल्ट सप्लाई डिटरमाइन एंड डिटरमाइन द चार्ज एंड वोल्टेज एक्रॉस इच कैपेसिटर क्लियर सो नाउ डी स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस सर्किट क्लियर नाउ वी कैन से बैटरी इज कनेक्टेड एट दिस पॉइंट यस सो नाउ यू कैन से डायरेक्टली यू कैन ऑब्जर्व टू हंड्रेड पीको फेरेड एंड टू हंड्रेड पीको फेरेड वी कैन से दीज आर इन ए सीरीज यस नो नाउ हाउ कैन वी फाइंड सी इक्वीवेलेंट फॉर दीज टू कैपेसिटर वी कैन से लेस सपोज आई एम सेइंग दिस इज सी वन सो डायरेक्टली वी कैन राइट बिकॉज दे आर कनेक्टेड इन ए सीरीज वी कैन से दिस इज सी वन सी टू अपॉन सी वन प्लस सी टू सो वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस सी वन सी टू अपॉन सी वन प्लस सी टू क्लियर सो नाउ वी कैन सी here we have two capacitor so 200 pico farad 200 pico farad divided by we can say this is 200 plus 200 clear to everyone so now we can say this is 400 divided by 400 yes or or you can write like this 400 into 100 divided by 400 clear from here you can say this one and this one cancel out and value of equivalent capacitors of these two capacitors we are getting this is 100 pico farad clear to everyone yes now we can see if we replace these two capacitor by a single capacitor having value 100 pico farad this 100 pico farad this 100 pico farad in a parallel combination so now we can write if we concentrate on these two then we can say these are in a parallel combination so now we can say c2 we can find like this this is 100 pico farad plus 100 pico farad clear so we can say in parallel combination we are getting value of equivalent capacitance this is 200 pico farad clear <coughs> now listen carefully this is a, the total c equivalent for this total arrangement we have 200 pico farad now we can say this 200 and this two this 100 this is in parallel combination no this is in series combination why because it is connected with a single wire yes or no and we can see one end of this capacitor is connected to the another plate of an another capacitor clear so we can see this capacitor c4 and we can say total capacitance uh, this is equal to 200 pico farad yes or no now we can set this 200 and this 100 in a series combination so now we can write like this now final let's suppose i am saying this c triple dish this is given by 200 multiply 100 and it is divided by 300 and this is pico farad clear to everyone yes so now we can write like this this one and this one cancel out from here we can say this is 200 divided by 3 and this is pico farad clear so i am just writing here all the important conclusion so now we can see first of all we are getting here if we are talking about <coughs> if we are talking about these two then we are getting equivalent capacitance this is 100 pico farad clear now whenever we are discussing about these two capacitors then we are saying these are 200 pico farad clear to everyone and whenever we are talking about the net c equivalent clear whenever we are uh, talking about all the final c equivalent of all the circuit we can see that c triple dash this is given by uh, this is 200 by 3 pico farad clear to everyone so this is a result that we are getting from the combination clear so first answer we are getting here equivalent capacitance of a network so equivalent capacitor of a network is given by 200 by 3 pico farad clear to everyone yes now our next objective here is to calculate value of a uh, charge and the voltage that is present on each capacitor clear so now if i draw here an equivalent uh, circuit we can see we can write like this here we have c double dish or c triple dish of capacitance clear and it is connected with the battery and it is having 300 volt supply clear to you so from here we can say can we find value of q yes or no yes we can find value of q so we can write like this value of q this is given by c triple dash into 
multiply it with v clear so we can say this is 200 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 12 multiply potential difference of a battery we have 300 so we can say this is 100 so we can say 2 into 10 to the power 4 and this one minus 12 so this is 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb clear to everyone so value of charge we are getting here 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb clear to everyone yes so from here directly you can see uh, if I am writing here let's suppose uh, we are talking about charge and the voltage and I am writing here for capacitor this is C1, C2, C3 and C4 clear so here we will write all the observations clear to everyone yes now listen so value of charge we are getting for the equivalent circuit this is 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb now we know whenever two capacitors are connected in a series the value of charge always remains same yes or no so directly we can say on capacitor number c4 we can say value of charge q this is 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb clear so directly we can say here we are getting 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 clear here we are getting charge in terms of coulomb clear this is coulomb clear to everyone yes now we can see whenever we are whenever we know value of charge on this capacitor so can we find the potential difference across this capacitor yes clear so how we can write like this value of q this is given by c4 into v let's suppose dash or you can say this is v4 clear v4 so we can write like this v4 this is equal to q upon c4 clear so value of q we have we can say 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 and value of capacitance of c4 this is 100 picofarad 100 into 10 to the power minus 12 clear we can say this is 10 to the power minus 10 clear when it goes to numerator it becomes 100 so finally we can say this is equal to 200 volt this is 200 volt clear so now we can say potential difference across the c4 capacitor we are getting 200 volt clear everyone here we are getting charge in coulomb and this is in volt clear okay now we can say listen carefully <clears throat> whenever we are having 200 volt potential difference across this capacitor so remaining potential difference we will find across this branch yes or no so we can say total we have 100 volt across this branch now we can say if we talk about this branch we can say these two ends and these two ends are having same potential yes or no so we can say the potential difference between these two points and these two point is same and this is equal to 100 volt so directly we can say potential difference across c1 we are getting 100 volt clear so can we calculate value of charge across c1 yes so here we can write like this we can see this is equal to c1 v1 clear so we can see q1 value of c we have 100 into 10 to the power minus 12 and this is 100 volt clear so 100 100 10 to the power 4 this becomes 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb clear so value of charge we are getting 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb clear to everyone yes now we can say same potential difference we will get across these two ends yes or no now we can say we are having two same capacitor yes or no 200 picofarad 200 picofarad it means we can say this 100 volt potential difference is equally distributed in all the two capacitors clear so we can directly say here 50 volt and 50 volt for across each capacitor so here we can say this is 50 volt and this is also 50 volt clear to everyone so can we find value of charge this is stored in a c2 and c3 yes definitely it will be same clear because value of c is same value of potential difference is same it means here we can write like this value of q2 and q3 this is same and this is equal to c multiply v so c c we have 200 into 10 to the power minus 12 and multiply potential difference we have 50 clear from here you can say this is what 5 multiplied to 10 so we can say 10 to the power 4 so we are getting 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb clear so we can say here value we have 10 to the power minus 8 and 10 to the power minus 8 clear so like this we can calculate potential difference across each capacitor 
and charge this is stored across each capacitor clear to everyone so this is all about this question